Good morning. Today is August 17th, Monday. Today's daily attendance. Okay, so let's do a couple of, let's do some housekeeping before I mention what uh, your midterm is. Okay, and for business communication, you already have your midterm. It'd be nice. Hopefully you already chose your company. It'd be nice to tell me what your company is. So that way I can see, you know, if you're gonna have any trouble, hopefully you've been doing your research already. Remember that it's uh, whatever it is that I mentioned in the other one. I don't wanna take away from this uh, video to explain it. So I explained it in the other video, okay? <clears throat> uh, English 145. Okay, for those of you who ask me, what's Cengage? Cengage is only, uh, specific to English 145, okay? So <clears throat> so if you don't have 145, it doesn't pertain to you. 145, Cengage, I think, is not going to exist, or I, I chose not to, so I, t I discussed it with my uh, director, and i just rather have the ebook, okay? So I think that one of the classes, because I have English 145A500 and English 145A501, okay? So I believe that one of the classes already has their ebook. They were working on it on Friday. So hopefully that will be uh, uploaded and we will get all that book sorted out, okay? There was a couple of students, I think uh, maybe a total of five students, I'm thinking uh, in my uh, both of my classes, you know, so in English 145, both classes, there was a total of five students, I think, in both classes that you guys did chapter one and chapter two. So kudos to you, okay? Because you guys managed and you guys did it. And that's exactly what school and life is about. School and life is about being a lifelong learner, okay? And it's about navigating through your problems, your issues, and your challenges figuring out the system, whatever the system is, and, I, and systems can be techie stuff or systems can be life in general, and then uh, being able to produce and, and navigate through it and come out successfully. So kudos to you all. For those of you who, <clears throat> who have not done it, you still need chapter one and chapter two to do, okay? I think there's like quizzes and activities and all that. Copy and paste if that's possible. Uh, you know, that's the deal about Syngage that it was sort of already there, but since we're, we, since it didn't work, then we have to uh, adapt and have to have flexibility and come up with other situations and ways and options to do whatever it is that we need to accomplish, okay? So uh, if you have not done chapter one and chapter two for Syngage, for not Syngage, for uh, English 145, make sure that you do that. I think one of my classes does not have the ebook, so chill out. You're supposed, we're probably gonna get it completely fixed and updated today, so we'll see. But in the meantime, you will be working on your midterm and I will be discussing that. So that's English 145, okay? So I still have for all my students, and if this isn't you, don't take it, right? If the shoe doesn't fit, you know, it's not you. Si no te cae el saco, it's not for you, all right? But I still have a lot of students that have not subscribed to my YouTube channel and are clueless about the daily attendance, okay? So at this point, I'm just kind of aggravated, all right? Because this is the deal, all right? So you have to subscribe to my channel and you have to view my chat my videos on daily attendance or pertinent to your class and they are titled as such whatever the video is if it's daily attendance it will be titled su daily attendance like this one will be august 17 2020 if it's your class it'll be titled english 145 a 500 english 145 a 501 or it will be titled business communication or it'll be titled english 133 okay so you go into those but you need to see the daily attendance every day all right so some of you have not done that but i don't know I, I i don't know how much more to explain it okay so you all had um uh you all had a bubble that I sent at the very the day before class started, and uh, and it explained what the platforms are, what you were supposed to do, and whatever it is that the that how the class is structured, what I will be taking and what I will not be taking. Okay. After that, I still have in each of your dashboards a whole bio and a structure of what you're supposed to do, how the class works, and all the platforms that I will be using. Okay. So. Now, in SU, what I've created is that for the daily attendance, I upload the video for YouTube, okay? That is only for accreditation purposes, okay? That means that our, our um, like my account gets accredited by this organization nationwide, right? 
like SU gets accredited by this organization nationwide. That's why they are able to get you all certified and get you all your degrees. If they were not accredited, they wouldn't be able to do that. So in the process of that, we get we get evaluated and we get accredited and there are specific guidelines that we need to meet, okay? With that, now with online, we have all sorts of guidelines we need to meet. So they are wanting uh, individual and daily interactions, okay? Well, I already had that set up even before this had set up. So, but I cannot show it and I cannot uh, prove it and I cannot link it and I can't, you know, uh, justify it just with my YouTube channel because they don't know that they're supposed to go to YouTube and it's supposed to be in SU. So what I have created is for them to see the daily interaction within my SU. Now, if you click on the video on daily attendance that I have on SU, it will not allow for you to comment, okay? Because it won't take you out. It won't take you to the YouTube unless you copy and paste onto your browser the link. But the way the program is set up for SU and my dashboard, it doesn't take you to YouTube. It just allows you to view my video. You cannot just view my video because what, you, what this is is daily attendance. So in YouTube, part of the reason that I love YouTube is because I can respond to you with either a thumbs up, uh, a little heart, or I can text, I can put a comment in the comments below, right? And that will tell us uh, that means that I've already checked it and that you're here and you tell me that you're here. If you watch the other YouTube video, you're not commenting. You need to comment. It's part of the process and it's part of your grade, okay? So when you're sending me screenshots of like, SU, you know, upload and whatever, that doesn't count, okay? It doesn't count because you're not going into YouTube. First of all, you're not learning how to navigate and going into YouTube, which is one of the one of the platforms, okay? The other thing on that is that you're not commenting on my video. So I'm not checking to see if you're there or not, and I'm not checking to see if you're okay, and I'm not checking to see if you're coming along, okay? There's a whole reason for, to be able to comment. The comments also make it simple for me. I have like over 150 students. You know how hard it is to go through daily attendance on that? So it's easy for me to just comment either a heart or whatever if it's nothing major, okay? So that's, you have to go to YouTube. You have to go. I'm not, I let it go. I gave you credit, but if you don't go to YouTube and comment, I'm not going to give you credit. You're going to get a zero for daily attendance because that is not the instructions, okay? And um, which leads me to, all right? So if you're having difficulties, we can chat. I had a student last week. She's like, hey, miss, I'm having trouble. I had just finished running. We did a video chat quickly, and it, that was that, okay? Which leads me to Teams. Teams is set up for everybody except 133. So give me a chance, um, you know, these two days or whatever to set that up. I still have not decided when we're going to have it because I have continuing ed classes that I have to meet because I also have to, in order to keep my licenses, have to do continuing ed. So I'm going to be doing that. So we'll probably have a meeting either Wednesday, which sort of works for everybody, but I need to figure out the time, and then Thursday. I had another person that said, "When? what time are your classes? So it doesn't matter, okay, because you guys are basically doing this independently, and other than the team's meetings, there is no schedule for our classes right now with online, okay? So so there's no classes, but that was, a, I guess, a good question, okay? I guess. I'll, I'll tell you in a minute. Okay, so then back to the YouTube, okay? So back to the YouTube, you need to be subscribed. I'm still missing a lot, a lot of students. Like, I have my old, my students that have had me before, so they kept subscribed, they kept the subscription, but I have a lot of new students, and I don't see you in my subscription for YouTube. So that is a way for me to tell me that you all are not listening and you all are kind of lost, okay? So that's part of the reason that I have different platforms, and really, in the end, I sort of check on them. I was cross-eyed yet this weekend because I did so much grading or whatever, and I'm still not done, okay? So, um... So there's a lot of people that haven't subscribed, okay? You cannot do the screenshot out of the SU, okay? And out of the dashboard for my daily attendance. Your screenshot needs to be within SU and it has to be a screenshot of my video for that day and of your comment, okay? So that way I saw <coughs> that you commented and that you're not cheating and having someone else give you the upload, which is ridiculous. And I had students do that. That's that's stupid. You can't even like get into YouTube and, and do a screenshot of me. It's just like ridiculous, okay? So I'm just gonna let you all have it, okay? So for those people that are lost, 
all right? And if this doesn't fit you, then that's fine. But for those people who are lost, it's been a week. This is the whole week that we had, and you guys still can't get it together. It's very simple. It's explicitly stated in the instructions. I have instructions on SU for each class that tells you who I am, what it is that I do, and then it gives you how the platforms and how the, how the class is gonna be structured. Not only that, I sent you a message through SU, and, all, and when you respond, that means when you tell me, I still don't understand, just look at the first message that I sent you. It's all stated there. That just means that you are not reading and you are not thoroughly going through whatever it means, because not only did I send you a message, I put it on SU, and then, and then I stated on YouTube. There's three different platforms that I communicated with you into the instructions. That only means to me that you're not reading everything that I send you. You are not reading the whole message because it explicitly states it. And if you don't know, you can go back and reread it. One of my students said, Miss, I've already read, read it a million times and, and this and this and that. Okay, that's fair enough. Okay. And then we explained it and after I explained it, whatever. But that just means that you did not read the message. Okay. And, and, you, the videos need to be watched completely, okay? And let me tell you what, I talk a lot, all right? It's my gift and it's part of what I do, okay? In the videos, because I have the gift of gab, right? For my other class that did it, right? So because I have a gift of communication, I, I'm not scripted. Look, these are like my little notes and these are like my little notes and that's all I need, okay? That is a gift for me, okay? Because everything is up here. I really just need sort of like bullet points and I sort of figure out. And then look, chicken scratches or whatever that only I understand, okay? So in the process of me communicating and having this gift, it sort of rolls off my tongue the way it's supposed to be, right? So what happens is that I don't cover everything in, in like it like all at once. I remember things and so maybe at the end of the video I remembered something that I need to mention for one of my classes or like my email, right? That you guys had the the inter, the assignment to send me an email then I sort of didn't mention it till later on in the video. So that only tells me that you're not watching the videos, okay? I don't understand it, miss. I still don't understand it. Well, then that means you haven't read anything and that you haven't gone through all the YouTube videos, okay? Another thing, thank you so, and this isn't, this doesn't pertain to St. Gates because we've had a really hard time with 145 in their books. So this has nothing to do with that. But for everybody else that goes to, to school and, and doesn't know and goes to the director's office and goes to IT or whatever because they don't know how the structure is, that's really good that you're doing, but you're still not following instructions because if you would follow instructions, you wouldn't have to do that, okay? So it's okay that you seek help, but if you seek help and all the instructions are there and you still don't read the instructions and you still don't, vid you still don't watch my video, it doesn't matter how much you ask because you're not reading the instructions and you're not following the instructions, which means that you're not following the instructions. If you do not follow the instructions, you're not gonna know what to do. And if you don't know how to do it, how can you learn if you don't step-by-step step follow the instructions and go through the process and the steps that I have mentioned in order for you to get a hold of the class, okay? You should not be struggling at a week with class structure at this point. I'm very aggravated, very aggravated. I don't know what else to do, okay? So this is your life and it is important for you to be able to navigate through it. I don't know how, how much and what more to do on my end to make you understand that daily attendance is through YouTube, that you need to register for YouTube, you need to subscribe to YouTube with your personal email. Don't use your school email, okay? Because it just facilitates things. And I don't want everybody knowing what your school email is on, you know, worldwide, okay? So there's reasons why I do things and I ask you things, you know, YouTube is very public, okay? So we're not gonna be giving out our information out on YouTube, okay? So if you use the school's email, that's not necessarily for the school. That's why I want you to do a, a, um, a, a, an email that's a private email, okay? Besides, it has nothing to do with the school. I'm just using that platform, which is very interesting because I saw that the school has a lot of YouTube video, videos now, so that is, right? So anyway. So if you do not go through the instructions, and that is part of learning. I have a student, and thank you so much. One of my students said, thank you so much, Ms. Edwin, because you teach us how to learn. That's exactly right. You need to learn how to learn first. And I did this whole thing on my son, right? And I'm not going to do it right now because I'm aggravated, and I'm running late, and I have a class right now like in half an hour, okay? I have a class. So if you do not understand the instructions, reread them. 
right? And you reread them and you reread them. It says they're very explicit. Sign on to YouTube, subscribe, go on to my channel, Miss Erlene. You need a subscription for YouTube and view my video. Well, now you guys are super behind. You haven't seen the introductory video. You haven't seen the daily attendance, none of it. At, in the in the videos, I explain what you're supposed to do, okay? So not only do I get you in terms of instruction, how I, I get you to YouTube. The reason I get you to YouTube is because it's very complex what you have to do, but once you learn it, it's a piece of cake. My class will be the easiest class you will ever have in your entire life, okay? And if you can't get to the initial stage, which is YouTube, because you need to get to YouTube, because in YouTube, I explain everything. And there's a, there's a library there. And there's like a list of videos that you can click on and you can figure out what to do. And you can read and you can go back and you can see it again. And you can see it again. And you can see it again until you understand it. But if you don't see the whole YouTube videos, if you don't read what I'm sending you, well, how are we supposed to get along? And then you tell me, well, I'm not good on online. This has nothing to do with online. This has to do with following instructions, viewing the videos, you know, uh, you know, just following instructions. It has nothing to do with online. It's not that hard. Okay. So daily attendance you have to do within YouTube. You need to comment on YouTube here. This we have discussions on YouTube. It's YouTube is huge and YouTube is my whole class. Okay. Not only that, but then you have to take a screenshot of my video with your comment, okay? And the reason that you take the screenshot is because then you go back to your SU and you upload it within the link that I put there. Okay, so my bad, on one of my classes, I put like uh, August 13th. You guys were really smart. You're like, miss, I don't find it on August 13th. There were some students that just uploaded, you know, August 12th. Uh, daily attendance to August 13th. That is problem solving. Why? Because you are not getting any daily attendance past Thursday, past Wednesday. Okay. So you, I had already mentioned that there was going to be no daily attendance for Thursdays and Fridays. Okay. There's only going to be daily attendance from Monday to Wednesday. Okay. So, but everybody called, asked me, Hey miss, well, what's up? I can't find it. I couldn't figure it out. So then later it dawned on me because there was a lot of questions of the same thing. That tells me that I probably screwed up on my end. See? Okay, that's problem solving. So while everybody, because we're trying to pro pro solve the problem, so you guys can't figure out what the link is for August 12th, I don't understand what you're saying about August 13th because we don't have a link for August 13th for daily attendance. But then since I got so many questions on it, I said, I probably put in the wrong date. And sure enough, I did. Okay, so that is the essence of going through life and figuring things out. And nobody has to figure them out for you, but it's through the process of life and through your process. Like since I saw a pattern that everybody's asking me, I said, well, I probably screwed up. Okay. So, um, so you, so I hope this, uh, makes all sense. So let's go to finals. Okay. So final for English 140, not final, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, midterm. I have final, I did final again. I don't know. I'm already thinking about finals. Okay. So midterm, midterm for English 145A500, English 145A501, and English 133, okay, for those, for my Englishes, because business communication, you already have your midterm, and you're going to, business communication is going to do something else. I don't want to mention it here, because then everybody gets confused, and they think that I mentioned it for that. So this midterm assignment is only for my Englishes, English 145 and English 133, okay? You guys gave excellent recommendations and I've done that before and, you know, and I decided to um, not do that because, um, because we have been in, in isolation and self-contained or I don't know, I can never understand, I can never remember what the proper vocabulary is for a long time now. I think it was since March, March, April, May, June, July, August. So five months, okay, we're going on half a year. Get ready. Everything that I've read, it doesn't seem like there's going to be anything out there till next year. Uh, Putin in Russia decided to, you know, sort of, you know, pass out the vaccine or do the vaccine without, um, you know, proper, I guess, um, you know, studies on, on whatever effectiveness or who knows the final studies that they have to do. So that's really, really, really bad because, you know, they can't just sort of put a medicine or vaccine out there without seeing what the repercussions are. Although that, because he did that, that's going to be huge uh, data for us and information and studies that somebody else is going to have. You know, of course, they're probably not going to give us the information, but it's probably going to get out somehow that will help 
uh, develop it faster on this end, okay? So it is what it is, okay? So that's very interesting. That's a very different dynamic. And for business, we can talk about that later, all right? So for your midterm, um, so what was I doing now? Okay, so this is gonna be a long time. So for midterm, okay, I want you to write an essay of something hysterical that has happened to you. Like it has been just hysterical where you like are grabbing your belly and you're rolling in the on the floor because it was so hilarious, okay? And that's gonna be an essay. You're gonna type it out. It's gonna be a Word document and then you're gonna upload it. I have not put the link up yet, okay? Um, so, um, so an example of that, okay, was, and I remembered that this weekend. And so I wanted to keep it light just because, you know, I just want to keep it light. Okay. Because we've gone through a lot. All right. So it's about really maybe, you know, just having a good laugh, right. And remembering and remembering, you know, um, something really funny that causes us to, you know, to laugh again. So one time I was, you know, my family and I were really close. And so, um, you know, we did a lot of, we do a lot of lunches and when you could, right. And, and dinners and whatever. So we were in this very, um, I, we were at dinner or lunch or who the hell knows. I think it was, I don't know what it was. And so, um, you know, we're all kind of blind, but, but, but we're also very distracted. So I don't know that that had anything to do with it. Right. So we're coming out of the restaurant, really fancy restaurant or whatever. I think we're all dressed up cause we're all together. So it's probably something, you know, important. And so my eldest sister, you know, we're, we're about to get into the cars. Right. And so my eldest sister gets into this car, right? And um, and so she gets in and she's, you know, there, whatever, and we're all walking, right? And so we we don't we see that she's not with us anymore, right? And so we're like, hey, well, we're so and so, you know, my sister's name is Spana. Hey, so we're Spana. And then and then so then my my sister in law turns around, she says, Oh my god, she got up to the wrong car. So she got into the wrong car, right? She got into this Mercedes for this gentleman, I guess was waiting for his own family. And so she gets in, right? So my sister in law goes and knocks on the door on the on the window, right? this isn't the car get out of the car and it was black or whatever it wasn't even it wasn't even the color that we have i think or whatever but she was distracted right so she's knocking on the door my she's knocking on the window my sister in law get down get down that's not your car that's not the car that's not the car and my sister is there right and so she's like so she gets in i don't know who she thinks it was or whatever she's like come on let's get going let's get going right because she didn't see that the that, that the guy that was driving was hustling you know we all have we don't have chauffeurs we all have our own cars right and so then the gentleman turned around he's like where would you like me to take you ma'am and so when he said that right she turns around and sees that it's not you know my brother or her her, her husband at the time because uh, she's widowed and uh and so my sister-in-law so she comes out laughing hysterically my sister-in-law is like i told you that it wasn't there it was the funniest thing it's not it's not coming across so funny but it was the funniest thing because she got in there she got ready or whatever and she like she didn't sense that it was rolling and she's like well come on let's get going and the gentleman you know i mean he must have been whatever right he had him so 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 he turns around and was very polite he's like where would you like for me to take you ma'am and so it was hysterical and the other day I was I was thinking about it. It was just hilarious. And it was everything was really funny that she came in and she went in and she's like, where is everybody? She didn't care. And, and you know, she didn't think anything of it. My sister-in-law's like knocking on the window telling her she's oblivious. And then she's telling him like, hurry up, let's get going. And the gentleman is just really neat about it. So something fun like that, right? And, and it, this is a descriptive essay, okay? Where you are describing somebody, something. And so you your audience is me, okay? And that's what needs to be taken into account. So you you need to be able to explicitly describe the situation in writing so that way I can understand the environment and the situation that you're in so it will transport me into that specific situation. So right now, through through verbally discussing it, I sort of transported you into the environment and the night that we were in to sort of, you know, describe it completely so you can get a gist and you can get a snip, right? A photo, a snapshot snapshot of of whatever that piece of life was that was hilarious because because life is like that and memories are like that right there's snippets of your life that you remember and everybody remembers them differently depending on your perspective and depending on what you're going through and depending on where you were at that that, that moment right so um so that will be your midterm uh business communication has a different midterm you guys know what it is i don't want to discuss it here because it's going to confuse everybody but let's get it together come on guys i mean I did this, I'm just so frustrated that I'm missing half of my classes, okay? Half of my classes have not subscribed. You still don't know how to upload. And, you know, kudos to you guys that you guys went, you know, you guys went and asked.
asked or whatever, but if you're not following instructions, it doesn't matter that you ask because you're going, you're going to the, uh, you know, you're going down to SU and asking people and I'm kind of aggravated because it sort of seems like I didn't do my job right because people are saying, well, they have an, they have a, a they have, um, you so-and-so is here and they have something due that you sent them and they don't know what's due and they ha and you haven't told them. Well, yes, I have. All right. So even though kudos, cause you're going, if you would have just watched my videos, if you would go back and reread the message on your message, which is your little bubble, or you just go and up and just view, right? Go through your S SU dashboard on my class. It's all stated there. So please get it together. Uh, I was very, very aggravated. It took so much energy away from me um, on this weekend. And more than anything, I was just really frustrated because, um, I think I pretty much explained it correctly, okay? So anyway, if you still need me, I have the Teams. You can text me through the Teams. I always respond. And then, of course, um, you know, we can do a video chat if you don't understand, okay? But you need to read the things and you need to read them thoroughly. And if you don't, have, if you don't understand, then you have to go back and reread them and reread them and reread them. And then you hustle. If you have a friend, you, everybody's had me. I'm the only one that gives English, okay? Everybody has had me. So people will tell you, all right? Now, there's other people that have, I guess other students or whatever that say that I don't check anything maybe or that you can just upload whatever you can't just upload whatever okay i check through things um i do spot checks as well um but i basically view everything okay um so if you do that to me i'm just i'm gonna get pissed all right so if you have any now your essay will be due on wednesday that was another question when are when is everything due i stated it in i think the first or second video i give you the deadlines through youtube on SU, they're always three days afterwards. So I give you three days extra or, you know, a little bit more sometimes because of my people that are late. If you're late, I close it out and it becomes a hot mess because then you have to email it to me and then it takes me forever to go back and forth, okay? I'm not taking any late assignments, okay? So if you miss the deadline on SU, you've missed it. So when you tell me, right, that when is it or that, you know, that you were early because, because you know, you, you, you uploaded like, you know, like two hours before the deadline on SU, the link is different from the deadline that I have. Now, I could always just, you know, just whatever date I tell you and then just close it out that date. All right, so you all decide, okay? So get it together is how I used to tell my assistants. And for those of you who are doing a great job, good for you, right? Um, and it's not the end of the world and it's not so hard, so don't make it so hard. Just read the instructions, all right? Ciao, love and light, bye.